Hello, this is Dr. John Kanalopoulos from Athens, Greece, Clinical Professor of Ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York. Uh, uh, pleased to uh, share with you this interesting video. This is a, a pseudophagic patient, young patient, 35-year-old lady, who was a fakie contracted lens gone wrong. So she also has a dissect graft done two years ago. And we did procedure YAG capsulotomy a year ago in the same eye. And please note the significant fibrosis of the anterior uh, capsule and the phimosis, the capsule opening has narrowed down on the vertical meridian to about four millimeters. And we're using the uh, Zeiss uh, neodymium, neodymium YAG laser, uh, two millijoules setting. And as you can see here, I'm carefully trying to create ra radial incisions in the anterior capsule. Um, we have found phimosis to create problems with lens tilt a change in refractive error from moving the lens forward or backward sometimes. See here uh, going at the 3 o'clock position and see how these uh, radial incisions with the YAG sometimes crack open revealing the sublinear tension that the capture axis may have. As I mentioned before, um, we see this commonly in Greek patients probably uh, has to do something with exfoliation or possibly with very aggressive uh, lens epithelial cells left behind during cataract surgery. This is why routinely I try to aspirate the underside of the anterior capsule at the end of the procedure, make sure I remove as many cells as possible. So we're going down to the six o'clock position here. You can see I uh, have a few shots in here early in the procedure. This only takes uh, three minutes. It's done under a drop of topical anesthesia. We usually finish with a drop of iapidine or afagan measure pressure half an hour later and of course a thorough peripheral retina exam a month later make sure uh, the YAG doesn't create any peripheral retina tears again this was a very high myopic patient that's why she originally seek to have a fake contractor lens although the problem with that original surgery done elsewhere was that they placed an anterior chamber lens in a very shallow chamber which at some point caused uh, cornea decompensation going in the uh, nine o'clock position here to complete several radial incisions with a YAG. Uh, relatively straight, straightforward uh, procedure. You can also appreciate the um, patient's uh, uh, moving and ambivalence. Uh, nevertheless, we're very successful in creating these radial tears and usually uh, they happen only once. I thank you very much for your attention.